close to the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut and the eastern front line of the war, winter is also an enemy. Soldier Mikhailo told Reuters it's partly why they've switched to defensive mode against constant Russian assaults. There is nothing good in bad weather. It will be difficult for drones to fly. Reconnaissance activities will be at its lowest level. We will mainly rely on what the infantry can see with their own eyes. Ukrainian troops say those problems, along with dwindling ammunition and weapons supplies and a lack of manpower, is stunting their ability to attack. The Western weapons they do have also struggle in the harsh weather conditions, they say. A Ukrainian counteroffensive last year was unable to break through heavily defended Russian lines in the occupied south and east. As Russia's invasion approaches its second anniversary, Ukraine is urging its supporters to do more to boost its artillery stocks. Soldier Pavlo says for now they are simply holding off their enemy advances. In order to advance, to move the front line, we need ammunition. We need more manpower. We need weapons. If we don't get it now, we will not move anywhere. If the enemy understands that we have zero resources, it can easily put pressure on us. If other countries help us and provide us with ammunition, manpower, and weapons, we will be successful. At the moment, we don't fire much. There is a shortage of ammunition. It's been a while since we fired 5, 10, 20 shells per day. Political wrangling in the United States and European Union has held up two major packages of military and financial support for months, although Kiev has said it hopes the assistance will eventually materialise. A Ukraine ground force commander told Reuters his troops are staging smaller counterattacks and that engagements on both sides are on a smaller scale to conserve ammunition and men.